Kim Tan, founder of Play the City. Play the City is an organization based in Amsterdam and Istanbul. And the main mission is to introduce gaming into the field of urban planning, city making, architecture design. side approached us and the idea was that hey we here we are organizing this amazing event but we want people to interact and learn from each other in a more playful and more active way so and our our team is migration would you like to make a game for us so it was for us very interesting question because we are all about collaboration and interaction interactive learning and to have this amazing amount of people which is 800 plus people we heard it was a really great challenge to take on, uh, so we did it. We did it, and we also especially liked the, the team of migration. Of course, we, I mean, we are all, in a way, confronted with the situation in Europe, wherever you are. And um, I think we have many, many questions. Nobody has the real answer yet, but the answer will come by interacting with other people. And why don't we do it through a game? And uh, so we have designed this game uh, that is holding 10 roles. So people are playing the role of a mayor, but also the role of the migrant itself, or the citizen, or an NGO, designer, urban planner, sociologist, journalist. So taking these 10 roles uh, with their agencies, with their powers, influencing the process, and how can you make actually in an interactive and collaborative way this policy, and then, yeah, that's, that, that, that is the, that's basically the game about. So that, and we suspect, although it is a fictional, the same city map, uh, because just because the people are different, uh, 12 different city uh, visions will come out. And the idea is that to come and pre present these visions that are made by 50 people each around the table and then see what the crowd thinks about it and which is the winning city in terms of uh, migration. Look, this is what, I mean, what, what we are basically using is a method. It's a game method that we are applying each time to a very specific tailored case. So sometimes, like we have done in Cape Town, the question is how can you actually resolve a conflict between a local community who hardly talks with the city planning department and, and potential investors that will come to the center of a township that's called Kailicha. It's a tool that's helping the process running and then the process is every time very different, the players are different. So we always say imagine SimCity but then SimCity played with real stakeholders, SimCity played for a real, real urban challenges. And then I think I will repeat uh, the mission also of this conference. Of course, there are not so many refugees that arrived in the city yet, but that doesn't mean that will not arrive in the future. That doesn't mean that we should not discuss this in the city. And I think I agree with a lot of people in this conference, joining this conference, that uh, I think probably that's the right place to discuss because the idea has to be much more open to other places, other cities in the world to see how they are dealing, how can we in the best way welcome newcomers and, and, and start working and playing and enjoying the city life with them. So I think that's basically what drives us to do this everywhere. I mean, mostly we are doing for real cities, real questions, real players. For the first time we are doing it also for an event, for a functional city, but I think the main drive is again trusting each other and learning from each other. That's basically why we are doing this.